Hi, and welcome to Musician's Edition. I'm the flute teacher, Risa, and today we're going to talk about this Jupiter flute made specifically for younger kids. Now, there are some options when it comes to these types of flutes. Um, we have this one and we have like the Deja Mini, and there's just a few differences between them. So this one doesn't have the full C foot joint, which means the lowest note can be is D which is fine for your child's student. They're not gonna be playing low C for a good hunk of time, so we don't need to worry about that. With that, that's also going to make the flute a little bit lighter. And this flute has three pieces. It has the main body, this is all one, and then the head joint actually breaks up into two pieces here. So it's like this, okay? And the purpose of it is just so, you can pack it up easier, it's in a smaller case that way. And why the head joints are bent like this is just so the student is not reaching out as far, they can have a comfortable fit here, okay? Now there are some guidelines to help your student know where their fingers go. Now it's not as strong as the Deja Mini. So the Deja Mini, the keys come up their little assist comes up a little bit. This one is just more of an indent for a feel. Now, the pro to that is that it should be enough for your student to feel where their fingers go. But when they transition onto a regular student flute, that transition's not gonna be as tough because, well, with the Deja Mini, they're going to really feel where it's at. And then when we go to a student flute, they might feel a little lost. This one, the transition's gonna be a little bit smoother. This one also does not have the thumb port. So your student is gonna have no problem shifting over to the student flute and knowing where their thumb goes. There's going to be no transition there. It's gonna be smooth flute to smooth flute, okay? And then this curved head, it makes the flute a little bit longer than the Deja Mini. So it comes out a little bit more than the Deja Mini. So this flute probably fits more towards a six seven, eight year old student is probably gonna feel more comfortable with this one than they are going to be with the Deja Mini, which is going to fit a student that is a little bit younger and smaller, okay? And this flute, it still plays great, a still, still a great flute for a beginner young student. If you're looking for a flute for your young student flute player, I would not rule this one out. This is a good flute right here. And I would really dwindle it down to three flutes. Um, we have a whole piece on all three flutes. Best way to go about it is having your flute student try out flutes. Now I know it's a little hard when your flute student has never played flute before but you can try these flutes out just so they can get the feel of it and see which one they feel most comfortable with. Things you're gonna consider is like weight, you're gonna wanna consider the assisted keys because some of them are assisted, some of them are not. You wanna feel how they feel, how far out, and how comfortable that feels to them. And then you also kinda wanna think about when it's time to upgrade, are you going to wanna upgrade the whole entire flute or do you wanna just upgrade the head joint? Which in this case, your head joint would come first with a flute, but that, that's with a different flute. It's just a few things to consider, okay? Either way, I recommend trying some flutes out from the Flute Center of New York. They ship those flutes to your home for free, so it's low pressure. You can try them on your own time and go back, really evaluate. And if you use the code RESA, R-E-E-S-A, you can get free shipping, you can get an extended trial period, and if you decide to buy a flute, you'll get an extended warranty as well. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the Jupiter flute, any other flute for young students, or flutes in general, let me know in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, notify, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our flute-related content. Thanks for joining, and until next time.